Hello everyone and welcome you all to Quick Solutions for All India Cash Test Series Medical 2020. Today I am going to take up the zoology part of the paper, test paper number 1, code CND in zoology. So let's get started with our very first question. Question number 136, an epithelium consisting of single thin layer of flattened cells with irregular boundaries is and the options are squamous epithelium, cuboidal epithelium, columnar epithelium, ciliated epithelium and the correct answer to this question is option number one squamous epithelium. Squamous epithelium forms diffusion boundary. The second option is cuboidal epithelium and it is an incorrect option. Cuboidal epithelium consists of single layer of cube-like cells. Option number three, columnar epithelium is incorrect because columnar epithelium contains single layer of tall and slender cells. And the last option, ciliated epithelium is also incorrect. Ciliated epithelium is characterized by presence of cilia. So the correct answer to this question is option number one. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 137. A group of similar cells along with intercellular substances performing a specific function is best described as and the options given are cells, tissue, organ, organism and the correct answer to this question is option number two, tissue because cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism so this cannot be a correct answer. An organ comprises a group of tissues so this cannot be a correct answer. And an organism is an individual animal. So this cannot be a correct answer. And the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 138. A spatial feature of the epithelium of PCT, proximal convoluted tubule, in a nephron of a human kidney is the presence of. And the options given are cilia, flagella, microvilli stratification and the correct answer is option number three microvilli. The presence of microvilli increases the surface area of absorption giving brush bordered appearance. Option number one is incorrect. Cilia are present in ciliated epithelium. Option number two and four are also incorrect options. So the answer is option number three. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 139. Choose the incorrect statement with respect to cell junctions. And the very first statement given is they can serve as structural and functional links between adjacent cells. And as it is a correct statement, this cannot be a correct answer. Option number two, tight junctions prevent leakage across a tissue is a correct statement, so cannot be a correct answer. Option number three, adhering junctions facilitate communication between cells is an incorrect statement and is the correct answer to our question. Because adhering junctions, also called macular adherence, possesses possesses intercellular proteins and tonofibrils which keep the neighboring cells together and they do not facilitate communication between cells. The last statement is gap junctions connect cytoplasm of adjoining cells is a correct statement and so gap junctions facilitate communication between cells. So this cannot be a correct answer and the correct answer to this question is option number three. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 140. Choose the odd one with respect to secretion of exocrine glands and the option are eowax, milk, hormones, digestive enzymes and the correct answer is option number three, hormones. Hormones are the secretion of endocrine glands whereas option number one, two and four are incorrect. These are the secretion of exocrine glands. So the correct answer to this question is option number three. Let's move on to the next question. Mm -hmm. 